So Chris and I are now gonna show you a drill you can use to help you mimic that underhand throw you already know using the split hand throw technique that we just mentioned to you. And remember, as you're using this drill, you're eliminating at least four of the major consistency robbers, tension, feel, tempo, and rhythm in your swing every time you use this split hand throw approach. So Chris is gonna show you how we suggest starting this by just hitting a basic little chip so you can just see by a basic short swing how you just gently hinge your trailing hand to start this swing and everything else follows. And then he'll go to a, what would be a pitch shot. And in all cases, you are using that trailing hand to wind up into an underhand throw for your backswing and then throwing both hands down and the device down directly onto the ball in play. And now he'll show you a full swing shot. And each one of these are ways to build your underhand throw. You can see that this technique helps you keep your head down. It keeps your body stable, so you don't have a lot of body motion. And as we said before, it keeps everything in sync so all body parts are moving in conjunction and in support of the hand and arm throw that you're doing, which is the only swing now that you have. You have no other swing thoughts to worry about. So just to add to this drill, as you become more proficient at hitting those foam balls, then we suggest you might wanna try hitting some real balls off this tee, particularly if you have a little bit space to do so. And the other thing we're going to suggest is when you do this, if you can, tee up these balls because remember, your object is to really hit the face of that club on the ball completely. You're not trying to hit the ground. You're trying to hit the ball itself. So Chris is now hitting some real balls with a simple little short little pitch shot. And now here's one right off the grass. But if you're able to do this using the split hand drill, then you'll know for sure you're squaring that club face to the ball at impact and you're keeping your head down and you're keeping your body from moving, your body is staying stable in the swing. So it's just another way to test out your capability to use this swing.